only works tonight on All Hallows Eve. When the sun comes up, we are dust. Dust? Dust! Come! We fly! Okay, <laughs> so I am in my house now, in the one spare bedroom that we had. So the lighting's probably a little weird because I can't find one of my stands. So my light that's usually in the middle is on this side and one of the lights is over here. So I don't know, we're gonna have to figure this out. But I have to say, it is so nice to just walk into another bedroom of my house to film. Prior to this, I was driving 30 to 45 minutes to an office to film, and it was very difficult. So pretty excited that this is in my house. Not excited that I have no guest bedroom anymore, but oh well. Um, before I get started with this video, I did want to tell you guys the next video out will, well, the next video will actually be another podcast. If you did not know, I created a podcast with two of my girlfriends, and it is called Yeah, No, I Know, and it's going to be up every single Tuesday on this channel, as well as on Spotify and Apple podcast. I don't know if that's the actual official name for it, but uh, so the video after that, so next Thursday, I should say, um, I'm gonna have a video up about some Amazon jewelry that I, my watch is like, please breathe. Bitch. You have been holding your breath for two minutes. I did a little Amazon haul and this is one of the pieces and then these are some of the pieces right here which are super cute. So it's kind of like an affordable Amazon jewelry haul that will be up. So turn on notifications if you wanna check that out. Um, let's dive right into this. When I got this ColourPop collection, the Hocus Pocus collection, I was super excited because I grew up watching Hocus Pocus as I'm sure many of you did and it's just one of those times of year where you get to curl up on the couch or in bed and watch scary movies or watch like cult classics like Hocus Pocus and it's just super fun. So I was really, really excited to see this collection and the artwork on it is super fun. And I did wanna say also, I am stoked, but I am now a ColourPop affiliate and you can get 10% off with my code Kristen. So without further ado, let's move on. Um, I'm excited to try this out, see what we think. Um, just because I'm an affiliate doesn't mean it's gonna change my opinions on anything, you guys. So don't worry about that. I'll still keep it real, but let's check out this packaging. Okay, so first I opened this super cute black flame candle. Unfortunately, this is not for sale on their website, probably because it weighs so much, but um, it says who dares to light the black flame candle. So I did check, it's not for sale, but this candle smells like fall in a candle, it's it smells so delicious. So I put this on the, the coffee table and I was like, all right, Nick, we're gonna like, we're gonna watch Hocus Pocus, we're gonna light the black flame candle. And sadly, it's actually not a black flame. I don't even know if that's possible to do, but uh, it smells amazing nonetheless. So that came in the PR box. We've got the eyeshadow palette. This is like the cutest packaging ever. Um, the little shade names are like in little cat heads. Um, and I just love the artwork that they've created for this. It's really fun. So you open this up. Oop. So freaking cute. So you get about six matte shade or seven matte shades and then you've got about five like glittery type. And these are <laughs> super fun colors. I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do today. This uh, eyeshadow palette is called Witching Out. Like, like I f just feel like this little collection is like a little collector's collection. Um, I will say that I actually ended up with an extra collection, yes, with a candle and everything you're gonna see here today because I was given the full collection. So I will be giving that away. So how you're going to enter is leave your favorite Hocus Pocus quote from the movie, obviously, below with your Instagram handle. And I will choose a winner. I'm not really sure when, I need to look at the calendar, but I will um, put in the description box and pin a comment uh, with that information and I will message the winner. This is US only, unfortunately, because shipping outside the US is extremely expensive. 
Thanks, USPS. Next, we have the uh, Shadow Trio, which is $20. You get three Super Shock Shadows, or you can purchase them singles at $7 a piece. One of my little Super Shock guys kind of broke a little bit. <gasps> it just fell out on my table. No! This one is Forever Bewitching. This is the one that just fell out onto my table but I'm still gonna shove it back in here and use it because if you've worked with these before, you can kind of like scoop them out and use them on a palette or on your hand. This one is Dost Thou Comprehend. This one is To Be Young and Beautiful Again. This is a spider stamp. So it comes in this fat little guy, so it probably has a lot of product in it. Let's see, it's got 2.5 milliliters. So this is $9, and I don't know if you can see it, but it is a little spider stamp. How cute is that? Next we have a mirror right here, and it says, I will always be with you. The mirror is $11. Next we have these little lip creams. There are three total. One is kind of like a cool nude one is black and one is a deep plum purple and these are nine dollars each or you can grab all three for 24 dollars the brush is like pretty little so i don't know if that would work for everybody or be everyone's favorite but just thought i would notate that there is no lip liner so you know me and i love to overdraw my lips so i don't really know what i'm gonna do with that today i think i might need to actually um, how do I turn my watch on silent? I don't actually even know. I don't know what I'm gonna do there. But let's go ahead and get into the makeup look. I'm gonna put some concealer on my eyes and zoom you guys in and then we will get started. I've been playing with different scenarios on my hand and I am obsessed with this guy and the purple one that I don't wanna show you guys because it's gonna spill all over the table again. And I'm gonna use some of the mattes from the palette. Um, I would do that green, except my eyes are blue. S sometimes they look a little green, but they're typically blue, so I don't usually like to wear a green eyeshadow unless it's like more of a teal. So I don't know if this is gonna look good, but we're just gonna we're just we're just gonna go for it and see what happens. I am actually going to grab a purple eyeliner so that I can lay that down before we put the Super Shock because as pretty as it is, it is a little sheer. This is a ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Piggy Bank. And I put it right there so you can see. So, going to work this all over my eyelid before the crease, put this, of course, I break it off and it falls on my carpet. Ah, come here, you little nub. Because it's Halloween and, you know, October, I am looking for some movie suggestions. So if you guys have any favorites that you like to watch, I'm just gonna try and like blend this out a little bit here before it like sets in place just so it's easier to blend out. Um, I would love some movie suggestions and I'm sure everyone watching would, so leave your favorite um, Halloween movies or fall movies below in the comments. And if you know if we can watch them on Netflix or Hulu or whatever, let us know. Um, I would absolutely love that. I tried to watch this like zombie movie the other day. Like, I think it was called I'm a, I Was a Teenage Zombie and it just did not work out. The audio was super awful. The I like 80s, like 80s um, Halloween movies, but that's just me. Okay, I'm grabbing, what is this one again? Forever Bewitching, it's the super shock purple shadow, so I'm grabbing some of that. Actually, I'm just gonna do it with my finger. Here, oh, it's so pretty. And I'm just going to pack this on top. Sorry, I'm not trying to flip you off. <laughs> I'm gonna go into the palette and grab Hello Billy, which is this one right here. I'm gonna start building off of this. I 
Have you guys carved pumpkins yet? I don't know if you guys remember seeing on my Instagram, but Nick and I picked out pumpkin plants and they're now planted in the garden, but I think we got them a little too early and um, I'm gonna pack a little bit more of this on with my finger and kind of push it up into the crease a bit. Um, I think we got them too early and they didn't go in like the ground quick enough. <sighs> so it's kind of sad because they didn't really like, Nick was like, oh, I'm like, are we seriously gonna have pumpkins by like October? Like this is, they're really little right now. And he was like, yeah, totally. And you know, I think it would have been different had we planted them in the ground sooner. Put some foundation and concealer on. I had to switch to such a light foundation right now because I'm so pale. I haven't spent any time by our pool. I mean, I did post the pool picture on Instagram, but I literally went outside, took that, went back inside and kept working. So I'll leave all of the um, stuff that I've got on my face in the description box below. And I know you guys are zoomed in. As you can see, I'm breaking out right now. So excuse the mess, but uh, that's life and my skin is on the fritz right now. So <laughs> we're gonna take that same liner. I was gonna do some like gold and then I just thought Lakers colors. And as much as I do love the Lakers and I love basketball, I don't want it on my face. This is a Halloween look. So we're gonna keep it mostly purple. I'm going to put this on my waterline and kind of work it into my lash line. I find it a little odd that there's no um, liners that came with this collection. I definitely thought that there would be like some liners because I would like, oh my gosh, the whole thing just came out. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna pick up more of the Super Sock, Super Sock, <laughs> Super Shock Shadow on a brush and I'm just going to work that into my lower lash line. Oh yeah, I was saying that I wish this collection had some eyeliners and I do. Can't decide if I wanna do that in the corner or just keep it purple. For the sake of trying more of the collection, let's do it. This one right here, 300 years. That's a really pretty shade. I might even get crazy and try and use that as a highlight on my face. It didn't look super glittery, so that could work out. I'm also going to use this on, ooh, on my brow bone. I'm gonna blend those lines together. I have a pimple right there, so I don't know how this is gonna look if we use this as highlight. Usually when I have pimples, I just put highlight over it anyway because like, I don't really care if you can see it because I'm human and I have pimples, like that's what happens. Usually I have much clearer skin, but I think my hormones have been a little crazy. Um, okay, so if I can see straight, there's something in my eye. I'm gonna take this little highlight brush. This is a ColourPop F33 and I'm gonna pull a little bit on there and I'm gonna wipe a bit of it off of my hand because I don't know what's gonna happen right now, but let's Oh, look at that freaking pimple. You could see it from space. That's like cool that it works so well, but that's really shiny for that pimple. Maybe we're gonna put some concealer on that in a second. Or wipe some of it off. Let's just meet it up with this highlight. Who gives a shit? The more the merrier. Oh, wait, it's, I'm a little early. It's not Christmas yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna do my brows um, off camera, add some blush, and then we'll come back to do the lips and final thoughts. Lashes are on, brows are done, let's do lips. I'm gonna try and attempt this without lip liner for starters. Okay, I'm gonna be doing, of course, you guessed it, the nude one, because I just don't really wear dark lipstick. Um, it's just not really my thing. So this one is called Calming Circle, and I haven't worn a ColourPop lip cream in a very long time. Hopefully it is not super drying because my lips are kind of dry today. I definitely need a lip liner for this because I'm making a mess trying to line my lips with this little brush, but I definitely don't remember any of ColourPop's lip creams being like so glossy. 
Um, so I don't really like glossy lips for myself. If I had big luscious lips, I probably would feel a little bit different, but I don't. So I'm not really a fan of glossy lips. So, hmm, this is a nice shade though. I do like it, but I do need some lip liner. It was, uh, these are a little bit of a hot mess. Overall thoughts. I absolutely love the Super Shock shadows. I think those shades are really, really pretty. I love the fun little artwork on the outsides of these. I think these are super cute. I was actually gonna go, maybe we will do a stamp. I'm afraid to do it, because I was gonna do it right under my eye right there, but I'm filming a couple other videos after this. I feel like you're not really gonna be able to tell what it is. So maybe I'll hold off on that, but I love the stamp. I think that's a really fun idea. I think a little moon would have been also really cool or maybe like a double sided one since there are like the moons and the stars like on the packaging. I think that would be really cute. Just a little idea for your PD team. I don't know. <laughs> um, not a huge fan of gloss, so wish there was something that was a little more matte and maybe some lip liners, but I realize that not every collection can be, you know, 50 pieces. So, um, enjoying that. I do wish that there was some liners as well. Overall, um, this palette isn't anything that I'm overly excited about. You can see that I kind of played with the Super Shock Shadows more because they were just fun and foily and glittery. I do think that we do not need this many uh, blending out shades. I think that we could have done without that. I could have done with a darker purple in here for my creases, like something between this and black. Um, and yeah. Um, for me, I think the green is beautiful, but for my specific eye color, I wouldn't touch that. So the palette is super cute. Um, the color selection isn't like my absolute favorite, but as far as quality and blending out, um, had a good time with the matte purple from the palette. It blended out really well. It wasn't patchy, which sometimes purples can be, so I was pretty stoked on that. Um, and those are kind of my thoughts about this collection. What do you guys think? What are your thoughts on how this applied? What are your thoughts on the packaging? Just everything to do with this collection. Let me know in the comments below. Also check the description box and the pinned comment for the information about the contest. I'll put the date that I will announce the winner in there. And yeah, looking forward to hearing what you guys think about this. Um, but it was fun to do a purple look. I feel very Halloween-esque right now. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.